Hey guys, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, I think Kwanzaa's on Monday, so if you celebrate Kwanzaa, happy Kwanzaa. Alright, well, um, I wanted to do another uh, video on the VMS2 for American Audio um, using the Virtual DJ Pro, and um, this is the instruction manual for the uh, Virtual DJ 7 uh, full full uh, <coughs> pro software and um, but real quick I just wanted to mention the um, I have two of those two contests uh, going uh, one is for um, a logo to my website which um, I got a few people they sent me some stuff but I wanted something a little different um, and I have a website up already so I think I'm just going to use that for now um, and the other contest video was for the um, the mixer giveaway and it's just a if you didn't see it go take a look at it um, it's just you know it's it's a fairly old um, mixer that I refurbished and um, a few people well only three people on YouTube showed an interest only one out of those three actually sent me um, a response video um, and somebody else sent me a video uh, a few guys that sent me a video they're in a band and they showed an interest in it. Um, but I did get a handful of people on my Facebook page that actually contacted me. Um, so I'm going to extend the Mixer Giveaway contest and for another month. I told a few, I didn't actually set a date to when I was going to end it, but I told a couple of people I was going to give it till uh, December 31st. Um, but I'm going to extend another month because um, some people on Facebook showed an interest in it and um, they were gonna send me some videos that I, uh, there was a few people well, a couple people were they wanted to use it for their church and uh, a couple other guys they were in a band and they wanted to use it as their monitor mixer um, so I just wanted to give people a little bit more time um, you know I just want to make sure it's gonna go to somebody that's gonna use it so um, you know, it's going to use it a lot, and it's going to get a lot of use out of it. Um, so I'm going to give that contest till the end of January. So, uh, and some of the people uh, they live out of the country, and they thought that they weren't going to be included in the contest. But I have no problem sending it to you know out of the country. But you know, depending on where it's going, because it's big, it's heavy, you know, it's kind of bulky. It might cost a lot of money to actually send. So it might not be worth it. So I don't know. I'm still looking into it. So, all right. So I'm gonna cut here. I'm gonna show you a close up of this. You know, maybe the front and the back, and uh, you know, show you some of um, Virtual DJ Pro, and we'll go from there. All right, cool. Okay. So this is a the American Audio VMS Two Digital Workstation. Um, I'm going to pan up here and bloop. And on my big screen TV, we have the Virtual DJ uh, Pro 7 software. I think it's the 7th edition. So, I'm right, going to page back down here. All right, and uh, definitely go and check out Edgar's video uh, from American Audio. Um, go on to AmericanAudio.com. You can see um, the video there. You can go on YouTube, see video there. Um, Brian Red actually did a video on the VMS2 as well. And I'm just going to <coughs> zoom in on uh, the stuff real quick and um, just give you like a quick view of what everything looks like. Um, I guess I'll start with the, the front of the, of the um, unit. So you have your microphone on and off, your gain for your microphone, tone for your microphone. Uh, then this uh, switches between USB and analog. And this is for your crossfader, so it's reverse and normal. Um, different, uh, different crossfader um, settings. Um, and then for your channel 2, USB and analog. And then your Q mix gain for your headphones and your headphone jack goes there um, and then on the other side 
we have, and I guess you're going to have to read this upside down, but uh, you got your uh, balanced um, output, right and left, your on switch, um, the uh, um, USB cable, and this is your power in, which doesn't seem to be plugged in for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, here we go. Okay, now it's plugged in. Um, then we have the um, RCA outputs for booth and the master, which is how I have it right now. It's actually going through my uh, my home theater system. And then you have your RCA inputs. So you could use these for um, a CD player, um, and you can go line and phono. So if you want to use your records, um, turntables, you could do that, and these are the grounds for it. And then you have your XLR microphone input, or you can use a quarter inch as well. So, okay. Um, all right, you know what, I'll just zoom in on the, the top buttons here. Um, all right, so you have your pitch control, uh, your sync buttons, your loops. Um, you got the smart loop and re-loop. And you know the this the the shift button here, so you can you know you can this is one two and three. If you hit the shift button, you can do four five six. So you have six loops, and you got your searches and that kind of thing. Um, in the middle, you have your gains and your EQs for each um, um, each channel, and then your master gain. You should use your booth. So if you wanted to have like a you know if you I guess if you're in a club or whatever, and um, you want to have um, kind of like to monitor your sound you can have your booth setting there and then these um, these select different things in the virtual DJ software then you have your load buttons and your cues and your faders and the actual tables here and the uh, cue play and pause so alright so we're gonna go over to the software and right now I have, now let's focus a little bit, page out. Right now, because it's Christmas, I have one of my favorite um, guitarists, Gary Hoey. And we have it, uh, this is your mean one, Mr. Grinch. So I'm going to hit play button. And you see it's going. Alright, All right, so we're going to pause that real quick. Alright, so I have this in um, actual scratch view, so we can see the, um, so we can see the actual um, sound waves, which I like to have, and I don't do scratch, so um, don't, don't ask, because I don't do it. I, I would love to learn, um, and I know the basic principle of it, but uh, I, I just don't do it. Um, so, so far, I really like this software. Um, I like how to, you know, organize the music. I, I like how the whole thing is set up. Um, so, and I'm just going to use my mouse here. We're going to go up to what the mixer view is. And this is kind of the way I probably should have it set up because I'm not doing the scratch um, and right now I'm not doing video either um, but I like to have this setting here and uh, I'm just hitting the, the search and you know this brings it to the thing and I like to be able to see where it is now you could also see it up at the top right there but I kinda like this view here um, to show me you know where the songs gonna start and then when it gets to the very end, you know, I can kind of see how loud it's going to be, just so I know, you know, how soon to start uh, the next song and, and that kind of thing. Um, so I'm just going to hit the uh, play again, All right here. Okay. And now we're going to go in the corner. Let me turn that down a little bit. And I'm going to zoom in on uh, the effects there. There we go. So right now it's on Wawa. 
Well, we're not going to keep it there. All right, so we're going to use the little scroll wheel that was in the middle. Let me pan back down again. We're going to use this little guy here, and that's going to go through the effects. I'm the worst cameraman ever. All right, so I'm going to go through, just let you hear what some of the uh, effects do. So this is Wawa. Wah. Alright. So that, I mean, I, I hopefully you guys kind of heard the difference between the two. Um, and I just, I kind of like having the wheel like this so I can, I can tell when the song's going to start. So let's, and now we could actually clone these, which is kind of cool. So I'm just going to use my mouse and so that kind of gives it like a, a phaser type thing. So they're both going to the same. So, alright, let's, let's stop both of those. And um, I really like this controller because um, I can go and I can select all my, uh, let's see, we'll go down here and I'm going to put another really great song that Gary Hovey does. And we're going to hit play. This is Carol the Bells. Alright, so I'm just going to show, show you how to do the loops real quick. Let's wait for another part of the song. Alright, so I kind of left it. I did it a little too late. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this shift. I'm going to go forward a little bit and see if that changes it. There we go. In, out. So you can kind of do some cool stuff like that. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to switch song. Let's see what else we can get here. Jingle Bell Rock. So we just hit the load button. And then I'm going to get it close to the beginning there. I'm going to fade out of this one. Hit play. Let's see if we can get a loop. Oh. 
All right, so that's like a little loop. Let's get out of that. All right, so now I'm gonna try some effects. We're gonna hit the up. And let's try the flanger. All right, let's stop the flanger. Let's do, uh, let's go to, what's a backspin? This is B grid. Uh, that probably wasn't a good spot to do it. That's break. Uh, phaser. Reverb, you're probably not gonna be able to hear. So, there's Flanger again. So, all right, just a, just a quick um, view of it and everything. Um, I actually did um, use this at a gig, but I only record like 30 seconds of, of uh, my light show. Okay, uh, one more thing I want to show you real quick uh, with the software is there's two um, areas that um, are really cool. Um, oops, <coughs> I just dropped a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm just going to use my mouse and along the bottom right here it says side list. And what we could do is just say, for instance, if you're, you know, you're, you're scrolling through your songs and you come across one let's just get out of gary hoey um and you're like oh wow that would be like a really good song to play um let's oh great song keep your hands to yourself the georgia satellites right you're like all right i don't want to play that now but i don't want to forget about it so what you can do is you can drag it down here to your side list how come it didn't pop up there it is. Okay. So you have it there um, in case you want to, uh, you don't want to forget that you, you know, about the song. So it's always there, always handy. All you got to do is click on it and you can load it into either deck. The other thing too is if you hold your mouse over here, it opens up um, a playlist section. So say, um, you know, maybe it's like during uh, like dinner or cocktail hour or you know what have you a lot of DJs sometimes they have to leave the um, the hall or the actual room where the reception is um, to go eat or whatever and you want to have uh, like a playlist play without you having to do anything what you can do is you can actually take this song you know it's the same one you can drag it over here to playlist and there it is and you can keep dragging let's see so we got uh, let's see what's another um, I don't know, whatever it is. Oh God, I got some really crappy ones. Okay, so I will survive. Now, now that we wouldn't, we wouldn't put that in here, especially with this song. But you can pop it in there, and when as soon as this one's, uh, as soon as this one's done playing, uh, the next one will start. And there's different uh, things you can do here. Um, there's the auto type, so you could do a smart one, so it kind of fades it in for you, and and kind of like it knows how the song ends and how the next one uh, starts. So then you can do remove intro or outro. You can remove silence, or, uh, remove nothing, or none. Just play them back to back, which is probably the best way to do it. Um, and, you know, if you're not there, you don't want you know to cut out the beginning of of a song, depending on what it is. So. Yeah, so I mean, it's I, I like the software a lot. Um, I'm not going to use most of the features that it has, only because I, you know, I'm not scratching. I'm not a club DJ, um, but uh, what I did over here is this is just iTunes. So this 
this is from my external drive and uh, the iTunes I have on this profile. Um, and then there was a party I just did for Tricor Brawn. And I basically, I took all the songs I knew for sure I was going to use, and I just put them in their folder so I didn't have to worry about searching through anything. I have my hard rock and metal, um, so if I'm doing live sound for a band, most of the times that I do live sound for bands, it's all metal bands. So I have, you know, mostly metal music to play in between. And then I have uh, one that's called Pons Pro Music, and this is basically a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna play a lot. Um, so it's a lot less a search through. There's only 2,500 songs here, whereas um, in my entire uh, external, there's like 10,000 songs. So, you know, you can get like folders and subfolders and those kind of things, and you know, so. I don't know. So I hope you guys learned something. Um, definitely, I love. Uh, I definitely love this software. I love the controller. Um, so, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. And also, um, if you guys have any uh, feedback for me as far as using this software, using the controller, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Um, because, I, like I said, I've only been using this for a few weeks, and uh, you know, I showed you how thick the instruction manual was. So, all right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and enjoy your holiday.